I opened my second podcast conversation with Elon Musk with a uh, question about consciousness and panpsychism. The question was, quote, does consciousness permeate all matter? I don't know why I opened the conversation this way. He looked at me like, what the hell is this guy talking about? So he said, no, because we wouldn't be able to tell if it did or not. So it's outside the realm of the scientific method. Do you agree or disagree with Elon Musk's answer? I disagree. I guess I, I guess I do think consciousness pervades matter. In fact, I think consciousness is the, is the ultimate nature of matter. Um, so as for whether it's outside of the scientific method, I think there's a fundamental challenge at the heart of the science of consciousness that we need to face up to, which is that consciousness is, is not publicly observable. Right? I can't look inside your head and see your feelings and experiences. We know about consciousness not, you know, not from doing experiments or public observation. We just know about it from our, our immediate awareness of our, our feelings and experiences. So it's qualitative, not quantitative, as you talk about. Yeah, that's another aspect of it. So there are a couple of reasons consciousness, I think, is not susceptible to the standard or not fully susceptible to the standard scientific approach. One reason you've just raised is that it's qualitative rather than quantitative. Another reason is it's not publicly observable. So, I mean, science science is used to dealing with uh, unobservables, right? You know, fundamental particles, quantum wave functions, other universes, none of these things are observable. But there's an important difference. With all these things, we postulate unobservables in order to explain what we can observe, right? In, in the whole of science, that's, that's, the, that's how it works. In the case of consciousness, in the unique case of consciousness, the thing we are trying to explain is not publicly observable. And that is utterly unique. If we want to fully bring science into consciousness, we need a more expansive conception of the scientific method. So it doesn't mean we can't explain consciousness scientifically, but we need to rethink what science is.